The In Him Minute with Ambassador Huggins. I'm sitting out under the old olive tree. I love this. Listen to this. John 15, 4. Jesus said, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. A lot of Christians are actually living outside of an intimate relationship with Jesus. For them, God is far off, and they're petitioning and calling out and, and you know, praying hard to get a hold of Him. But once you grasp these in Him truths, once they become real to you, that you've actually been translated out of the world into Christ, then access to Christ is simple because you're in Him. And if you're in Him, then you can bear much fruit and your fruit will remain. If you're not living your life in close relationship to Christ, in Christ, then you're not going to bear very much fruit. You'll put forth a lot of effort with very little results. When I was a youngster, I always planted watermelons. That was my favorite thing to plant in my garden, that in okra. And when my watermelons would, uh, vines would start to grow, I would trim and prune them and, and watch them because that's what produced the fruit. I would keep the stronger vines and I would prune off the weaker vines and that way all the production and nutrition of the root system would go ch be channeled up through those vines and produce big, juicy, sweet Texas watermelons. So you see, I understand a little bit about this because it's a horticultural concept, abide in the vine. It's impossible to bear fruit unless we're in Christ. Good news is you are in Christ. So why don't you say this? I'm in Christ and because I'm in Christ, I produce much spiritual fruit. Well, God bless you. That's your in him truth for today. Remember, he that receives a prophet because he is a prophet gets the prophet's reward. So uh, you need to sign up and become a partner with me today. Hey.